What's up guys? Welcome to the Underground Plug. I'm your host Caroline Valilla and I am here in the recording studio at Architect Live in Butler, New Jersey. Dive is getting ready to take the stage in just a moment and I'll have an exclusive interview with them in just a little bit. So don't touch that remote. Plug. I'm your host Caroline Valilla and I'm hanging out with the talented band Dive. They just performed at Architect Live. How are you guys feeling? That was a great performance. We're feeling very good. Nice. Well, I think. Well, I loved it. Now, this Thank was you. a special show tonight because the set was actually being recorded live, right? It was. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We're doing a, a live recording for our booking agent, CEG. Shout out. And uh, you know, it's just pretty much we had a great crowd. Everyone came out, and we were just doing a live recording for that, so it was very cool. Awesome. Now, Will over here is officially Dive's new drummer, which is so exciting. Congratulations on that. Yeah. How does it feel being the drummer? Yeah, it's awesome. Honestly, it's a dream come true. Yeah. And I can't say anything other than that. Well, you did a great job, and you guys are longtime friends. I know that. So, how did you know that Will was the perfect fit for the band? 
Perfect is a very strong word. <laughs> <laughs> he is pretty darn good. <laughs> now, you know, we, we've been through a lot of drummers. We've, we've had some great ones. He, he helped me start dive like seven years ago, right? Wow. And, um, you know, it just came full circle, and he just he improved as a musician, a person, a friend, and it was just time. So we brought him back. He's been killing it. Yes. Not, not to mention he looks cool. Oh, I right? love the mohawk. Thank Rocking you. the mohawk right now. Thank you, thank you. That's what it's all about. Now, you guys are going to be doing big things very soon. You're going to be doing a acoustic EP, a new album, new music videos, and a tour. Can you elaborate on that and tell us what fans can expect from you? We're, we're in the process of recording a new acoustic EP. It's just four old songs from our record, Picture Perfect, and one brand new one. It's just, uh, we're just going to get it out. I mean, people wanted to hear a different side, so we're doing that right now. And it's, it's going to be really cool. We're really proud of it. We have a whole string section, orchestra, track, orchestra section. It's like... It's going to be really cool. Wow, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, we're pumped about it. Well, Picture Perfect was an awesome album, so how do you plan on topping that? Oh, we're going to top it. Yeah? We, we've been working on demos now for like about a year, right? Yeah, a while. Still. About a year, and uh, we're still working on them. We're still working wow. on them. We have, Diligently. Yes. We have like like 15 songs in the works, and we're, we're hoping to have 20 so we could cut out you know, at least six of them and okay. just have the best songs we've ever, we've ever released. Nice. Yeah. Trim the fat, get it out there, it's gonna be great. Our goal is basically to get better with each album. Mm -hmm. And I think we will. And you guys do. And we will. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And where can fans pick up that album, Picture Perfect? It's in stores in FYE, Hot Topic, and you know, of course iTunes, Rhapsody, Napster, the legal Napster now. Buy music. <laughs> but uh, anywhere music sold online. Awesome. And we're on Pandora now, so that's awesome. And coming to like all the digital jukeboxes and all the app bars, so. Cool. Well, you guys rock the stage tonight, so I want to know what is each of your favorite song to play live? Jeff? Oh, that's a rough one. I'd almost have to say breaking, just because the energy's always there, you know? Gets yes. everyone amped up. Definitely. Mine has to be the talking in between songs, because... <laughs> <laughs> tonight, tonight, you know. No, my, my favorite, I think, right now is Take You There. Okay. Martine. Totally agreed. I think Take You There is my favorite. I, I don't know because it's because how sexy is his accent. I love <laughs> no, it. I, I think it's just because I, I started. What kind of accent is that? Mm. <laughs> just sexy. Spanish slash uh, English. No. <laughs> sort of. No wonder English. why you're the romantic. <laughs> He's the romantic of the band. No, He's no, cute. that's this is not true. It's, <laughs> it's just because we have an affair with, with Johnny. <laughs> Secret. Well, that got out fast. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm like a day. Uh, no, no. How about Don't you? say that. What are your favorite songs to play? Oh. Oh. That's a tough one for me. I, I really like them all. I know that sounds stupid, but I... I guess Take You There and Last Call Romance. I love Last Call Romance. It's a great tune. I feel that one, yeah. How about you, Will? I like them all. It's honestly, it's really difficult for me to pick one. And uh, it's an honor to be playing them all, but I would have to say either Breaking or uh, Take You There. I would definitely have to say those two. Those are my favorite. Awesome. Well, for those who don't know, Dive actually opened up for Bon Jovi last summer along with Train. They were one of the first bands to play at the new Meadowlands Stadium. That is such a great accomplishment. How did that whole experience feel? Hot. Hot and yeah. steamy. I mean, it was like it was the it was one of the best things that that week we did our first arena and our first stadium. The week before, uh, three days before, we did Susquehanna Banks and with Stone Temple Pilots, Alice in Chains, Three Days Grace, and then we got to do the Bon Jovi. We were one of the first bands. We were the first band ever to play the new stadium, and it was it was awesome. It was like 198 degrees out, but it, you know we had like like burn marks through our shoes, and it was the stage was all metal, but it was like it was the biggest honor any band could ever have, and it was like. Nobody could ever take that away, you know, Definitely. so we'll always have that. And it was crazy. It was great. You always remember that moment. Always. Always. So who are some of your biggest influences in music? Start with you. See, I have the weird influences, you know. I grew up on 80s rock and then, like, the prog bands, like Porcupine Tree. Nothing that fits in with what we do, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> just all those fun bands, you know. But all of us are like, you know, Jeff Buckley we're all a big fan of, uh, Guns N' Roses, um, Alice in Chains, Bon Jovi, you know, just Justin Bieber. I mean, he's why I started music I know. three months ago. Mm -hmm. So it was, it, 
It's been it's been a long journey. Thank you, Biebs. We appreciate it. And <laughs> Bieber fever. But what about you, Marn? Uh, I would say the Beatles. Paul McCartney is one of my my favorite musicians ever. Mm-hmm, good choice. How about you? Um, I would also say the Beatles, and I also mentioned Jeff Buckley, and uh, also one of my biggest influences is actually Neil Young. He's one of my favorite guitar players, songwriters. Happy birthday! And it is his birthday today. Yeah, he's he's like my musical idol. So, love Neil Young and Jeff Buckley and the Beatles, a lot of other stuff. Some of my biggest influences would definitely have to be Evanescence, and I would definitely have to be the oddball out here and have to say the band Him. Uh, Will Hunt, definitely my favorite drummer of all time. I've learned a lot from him, and definitely his style. I, I picked up on a lot of his drumming and a lot of his the way he plays, and he's honestly my hero. So, yeah, that's about it. Now, do you have any other upcoming performances where fans can check you out? Right now, they're, they're slimmed in on because we're doing the album, but we are playing in Philadelphia on December 18th at a place called The Legendary Dobbs. And, uh, you know, that's, that's all we released right now, but, you know, you can check out our schedule on our Facebook, MySpace, website. You know, we're, we're going to be announcing a bunch of stuff coming up. Awesome. Make sure you guys check that out. And I want to thank you guys for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you. You did great on stage. You rocked out. It's a great show. And now you guys have been plugged in to dive. Everyone quiet on the set. Mm-hmm. We're quiet. Welcome. <laughs> what are you doing? Will has to fart. You can't get that on camera. It's all right. Fart. Just <laughs> fart. Shade off.